Let's create this video with Adobe Express. To start with Adobe Express, you'll have to go to new.adobe.express.com and create your account. Once you've set up your account, you're gonna come to a homepage that looks like this. Today, we're editing a video, so I'm gonna click on video. I'm just gonna select video. We're going to see this editor. On the left bar, we have all the tools we can use. On this beginner's tutorial, we're going to focus on templates, the pre-made designs that Adobe Express has available to use, media, where we can choose photos, videos, or audios from Adobe's library, text, where we'll see a bunch of pre-made text that we can use, and elements, which are individual shapes, background, icons, illustrations, and more. Let's go back to media and start editing our video. I'm going to go to the videos tab and search for the topic I want my video to be about. Then I'm going to choose one of the library's videos. You can click it and it will be added to your design. But if you drag it into this scene, the size is going to be automatically adopted. So I'm just going to drag it. On the left bar, you'll see all the editing options available. I will talk about this later. First, let's say you want to trim your video. To do it, you just have to bring your mouse to either the end or the beginning of the clip and drag it to make it shorter or larger. You'll see that if you make it larger than the duration of the clip, it's going to show a white screen. So the scene is longer and you can add another video. Other thing that you can do is cut something in the middle. You just have to click or pass the video where you want to make the cut and right click or click the three dots and click split. It will make a cut. If you play your video, you're not going to see any difference because it's the same video, but now you can edit this part individually. You can also change the order and if you want to delete something in the middle, you do the same procedure and then right click it and hit delete. Now you're going to notice a jump from one part of the video to another. Now let's add a new scene and let's drag in a new video. I want to make it shorter so I'll split it and delete the last part. So now if we play our video, it's going to go from the first video to the next one. You can also add photos. Let's go to the photos tab and select one. There are two ways of adding photos. If you are in an existing scene and click a photo, you can add it as a layer on top, as you can see here. Or you can add it as a scene and it will be a separate part of the video. With the pictures, we can also make it as long or short as we want. Now let's add an audio. Let's go to the audio tab and I'm going to search for happy audios. I'm going to select this one and there are also audio effects. We have only used Adobe's library, but now let's say I want to use my own media. Let's click on upload from device and I'm going to select one of my videos and it will be applied. It has a different size, so we can resize it and adjust it. We can also upload images from our computer. A good point to mention is that for images, you'll have available the background remover, insert object and remove object. For videos, you'll have to upgrade to the pro plan to have these features available. Other thing that you can do is overlap videos. I'm going to add another scene and another video. And on this scene, I'm going to add a new video. As you can see, it was added on top of the original video. And if you hit play, you're going to see both videos playing at the same time. You can edit each video individually. You just have to select the one that you want to edit. I like the crop tool that you're going to see on the left bar. Here you can select a shape and the video is going to be cropped to that shape. You can also edit it after and move it around. On the left bar you can also change the speed, the opacity and add different effects such as color, flip it, adjust the image property and add animations. If you enable show layer timing on the bottom, you can trim the video separately and you can also place it somewhere else in the scene. Let's add a new clip and now I'm going to show you the transitions. To add transitions, you just have to click on the plus button and then click add a transition. You're going to see the available transitions on the left. I'm going to choose this one and you can also edit the transitions duration. Lastly, we have text and elements. If we go to text, we'll see a bunch of pre-made text that we can choose from and then edit as we want. We can also add our own text. Adobe will suggest recommended formats and fonts, and then you can add your own customization. Here you can change the font, the text layout, the color, opacity, add effects, shadows, and animations. If we add a pre-made template, we can also edit it as we want, as you can see here. Finally, elements are individual shapes, icons, forms, and more that you can add and also edit them as you wish. Now let's try one of the Adobe's templates. The templates are pre-made clips available that you can use and edit as you wish. It can make your editing way easier. You can change and edit each element or layer of the template individually and add your own media. Let's go back to our video. Here on the top left corner, you can name it. When you're happy with the result and finish editing, 
you can download your video by clicking on download at the top right corner and it will show you the resolution. You can only choose up to 1080 with a free plan and the format and click download again. And here we have our video. As you can see in this video, Adobe Express is an excellent tool either you have the free or the pro plan. If you want to see how to create other designs with Adobe Express, you can check out our Adobe Express tutorial for beginners right here. Or if you want to see how it compares with other design tools, you can check out our Canva tutorial right here. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye!